How frustrated do you get when you gotta go to all these websites to update your systems? Your students get just as frustrated, trust me. And a lot of times, you waste a lot of time yourself answering emails because a student can watch a video or a student cannot access content X or Y on your, on your lesson, okay? What this allows you to do is, it allows you to create packages of software. Let's say, for example, I wanted to install Firefox, Chrome, Sky, iTunes, the VLC media player, but here's the, here's the diamond in the rough, the wrong times. Because pretty much anything that is on the internet right now run out of this. Either Flash, Flash for Internet Explorer, Java, Adobe Air, Microsoft Silverlight, Microsoft .NET, and Shockwave. So if anything, you can tell your students, hey, go to this link, build this little package right here, and run it on your system. The really neat thing about it is it doesn't require you to sit there clicking next, next, next. It has a built-in script that it automatically runs all these programs in the background, no ads, no clicking, no nothing. And if you save the package, every time that you want to update your system, all you have to do is rerun the package. It's even smart because it tells you you already have the latest version, you don't need to update it. And it skips it to the next program that you have on your list. So it's really cool. And it's free for personal use. So if it's for education, it's free as well. Now, don't try to update your whole network in your college because they do have, they do have a commercial version that they sell for colleges and universities where you can install it in your server at your university and then anybody can use it. But if you as a person is using it or your student,